Hello everyone, uh, Josh Johnson here. And I just wanted to do a, a quick little tutorial just kind of showing the difference between Comp Buddy uh, versus something like Channel Blur um, for, for an Edge Blur. So let's dive right in here. Here I have um, this comp setup. Um, keyed out this footage here. And let's go ahead and turn on Edge Blur first. There's some Edge Blur. Um, it's definitely too much Edge Blur. Um, I kind of just wanted to exaggerate it for the video. Sometimes it could be a little bit hard to see. Uh, so also make sure that you're full screening this on YouTube. Um, but you can see some edge blur there, right? And, you know, it's definitely too much for this particular shot. Probably would do like half of that, but you get the point, right? You see the edge blur there? Okay. So now let's go ahead and take a screenshot of that. So there's Comp Buddy Edge Blur. Let's turn that off. Go to the keyed layer here. And let's go to Channel Blur and use um, the Channel Blur Alpha for the edge blur. Turn that on, and you can see something pretty ugly is happening already. So let's take a look at something real fast. Okay, so in this comp, let's go ahead and look at just the alpha channel for a second. Turn off the background. And just kind of solo looking at uh, the alpha channel here, right, for this key. So. If I zoom in closely and turn off channel blur, you can see the alpha is actually, that's kind of what I want, right? I'm kind of blurring the alpha channel and you can see I'm getting that nice uh, blurred edge there. That looks nice. However, when I hop back over to uh, this comp here and looking at it, um, through all my channels, um, you can see there's very much a problem. So the big difference of using something like channel blur to try to accomplish an edge blur versus say something like my tool um, is the channel blur is just blurring the alpha channel. Um, you can see that here. And so there's a problem with that. It's just blurring the alpha channel, right? And it's not blurring any of the RGB channels, which is why we're getting this pretty ugly edge here. Um, whereas my tool, it's using the alpha channel, but then it's actually blurring on top of that and it's blurring all of the channels, right? With this adjustment layer. So it's blurring the RGB and alpha channel, um, which is going to give a, a much smoother, more naturalistic look um, and just like a better transition as well. Um, so there could be some cases where the channel blur, just do, using it a little bit might get you. I don't think it's going to look good on this shot, especially we're zoomed in a lot here never really going to look great on this. Um, maybe in some cases you might be able to get there and look okay. Um, but it's kind of the main difference. The channel blur is literally just blurring the alpha channel. Um, whereas my setup is, is blurring all the channels. Okay. So let's just take, um, let's look. So I have this here, right? And I'm just move it up to like three pixels and then go back and forth. Right. You can see that's a comp body edge blur. That's trying to do it with, um, the channel blur, out, uh, method. And that's the um, channel blur and comp buddy. Feel a little bit like an optometrist. There's your one, there's your two. <laughs> um, but uh, you can see the big difference there, right? So let's, let's hop into another example real quick. So here we have um, just text, right, that I have on the screen. Uh, just the letter E, I believe. Yep. And it's uh, um, right here. So we're kind of zoomed in 100% here, right? Looking at it full resolution. Okay. So. Say we want to blur the edge of this. Again, we can try the channel blur. Um, maybe I'll put it on something like uh, six. Turn that on. You know, kind of the same problems happening, right? Because we're just blurring the alpha channel. So you get this black um, line kind of showing, which is not great, right? If I look at it in the alpha, it looks correct, but that's only because the alpha channel is blurring. So. Let's take a screenshot of that, turn that off, turn on the comp buddy edge blur. We can see now I got a pretty decent um, edge blur happening here. And if I look back and forth, right, that's the channel blur and this is the edge blur. Um, but of course the other 
potential nice option for this since it's auto adjustment layer can come the opacity and I can kind of fade that as well. I want to dial that back a little bit, which is nice. Let's quickly look at one more example here. Uh, there's a soccer player here, stadium. Um, so I have the key right, and let's look at, I'm going to zoom in and turn on the edge blur. Now I can see a comp buddy edge blur, right? It's blurring the edges. And that looks, looks okay. It looks pretty good. Obviously, I mean, I'd do some more tweaking to, to really <laughs> finish this comp. This is just a quick kind of slap comp thing. Um, but you can see, right? I'll take a little screenshot. Let's turn that off. Let's look at trying to accomplish that with channel blur. Um, even if I try to do something really subtle with one pixel, um, you can still see like the, the fringe line. Um, again, it's blurring just the alpha channel. So just wanted to show a quick example. Thanks. Happy comping.